Thank you very much, sir. Yeah, it's really not the case that Ghana Water Company has sat down for the matter, the Galamse situation to get that worse. That is not really the case. In fact, I could be described as somebody who has spoken about Galamse more than anyone else, especially because I work um, in an area where our source of ab abstraction, that is our source water, is Galamse infected. I have spoken a lot about Galamse, and sometimes I get a bit uh, worried that it's like I'm speaking too much on Galamse. We have spoken, we have taken the media to our treatment plant at Sechahiman, we have taken the media to a treatment plant at Dabwase, where the Pra River is abstracted. We abstract the Pra River at Sechahiman. The same Pra River also comes to Dabwase. We abstract it at Dabwase. We have taken the media. I'm sure uh, your reporter who is in either Cape Coast or Takrade will tell you that we have taken them there on a number of occasions. There was a time that a very important visitor came to Western region, and we had to take that important visitor to Dabwase. And whilst at the intake, the intake is a place where the low lift pumps, the pumps that abstract the raw water from the Pra River are installed. That is the house, the pumping house for abstracting raw water. Whilst there, we saw with our naked eyes, not with a telescope, but with our naked eyes, everybody saw uh, the Galamse people operating as close to the intake point. And uh, that visitor, important, very important visitor I'm talking about, also saw the people working. So we have spoken a lot. Well, I thank God that now it's gaining traction, it's gaining attention, it's gaining publicity, and everybody is talking about it. The aim of this statement that was issued is to highlight, to bring out to the public, for everybody to know, to hear that Galamse is really wrecking havoc. <laughs> so it is not today. We didn't start today. We didn't start yesterday. Mm -hmm. I've been here for over seven years, and I've been speaking about it all the time. And, and I, I don't shy away from speaking about it because Galamse is a terrible menace. Is something that is going to spell the doom of Ghana. How can we afford to treat water that has a turbidity of 14,000 NTU? When the plant was built, I mean the Sachahiman treatment plant, when it was built, the turbidity that they had in mind at the time, as I spoke to the water quality manager who was in Central Region some time ago, he tells me the design uh, they had in mind. 500 NTU. In fact, that was it when the plant was built. And my understanding is that at the time, the raw water turbidity was 200 NTU. And we have got to now 14,000 in, in, in such a human. So, something, it is not the case that I have sat down for the matter to get worse before talking about, I have been talking about it. You can go to your archives and you get a lot of interviews that are granted to your, your station about Galam. So we thank God now is gaining the right attention. All of this is strange to Galamse. The Ghana Medical Association with its other <clears throat> umbrella organizations, uh, nine of them together, they say that the way forward for them is for the president to issue an absolute ban. Do you agree to that? I, saw, I, I, I'm, I'm, I very much agree with them. In fact, the aim of Ghana Water Company in bringing out this statement <coughs> is that attention should be drawn to it. So that mm -hmm. I'm saying on river bodies, our, our mm -hmm. aim, in fact, it happens elsewhere, but I'm sure there are other people who deal with it. But on river bodies, Ghana Water Company want to see Galamse stopped entirely. When I was a child and I lived in the village in Ashanti region, 
Mm. Whenever we were going to the farm, <clears throat> we didn't have to take water to farm. Why? You're right. There were rivers along the along the path. You're absolutely that right. Help, that 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 mm. we'll be able to fetch the water along the path and take it to our farm and then use it. Right. But now, Samson, if you are going to farm and you decide that you won't take sachet water or bottled water, you will starve until you come back mm. home. <laughs> So uh, uh, why are we experiencing this now? It's because and, 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 say people and, and, and Yao, are Yao, 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 this is not happening. Day. This is not happening only in the coastal areas. I, I'm from the Upper East, the Black Volta. I had first an experience. We we go to the farm and we can drink from it. We we can use the water to bath. We don't need <clears throat> anything to sanitize the water. Now they cannot do that anymore. That is where, unfortunately, as a country, we have elected to bring our water bodies to. God loves Ghana so much. It appears Ghana is the only country that God loves because we have everything. Now, talking about water, we have so many river bodies. And these, these are huge river bodies. Now, let's talk about River Pra. Well, I don't know whether you've been to Cape Coast or Takwadi before. At Bay Poso, you encountered River Pra. This is a huge body of water, but that body of water has been reduced to a drain, a water running through the drain. That's what we have now. So if this thing has gained attention and we are going to have absolute ban, that will be enforced to ensure that nobody, absolutely nobody, enters the river to dig for gold, then I'm sure that the river body will rejuvenate itself mm. In a matter of time, we are going to see colorless water. We are going to see uh, water or river that doesn't have any color at all because one of the properties of water is that it is colorless. So we must get to a point where River Pra, the water in River Pra, will become colorless and we can stand at the bank of this river, this huge water body nature has gifted us with, and we can see the fishes swimming in the river. That is what we are all waiting for. That's what we are all hoping. Oh, yes, I am a very religious person. Now, I know, I know for sure. In my lifetime, I am going to see all these river bodies regaining their natural state, unlike what we see now. I'm, I'm wondering if you are sure we can get to this ideal state. And presently, um, you are looking that it is possible to get back to treating the water with <clears throat> 500 at 500 NTU, is that, your, is that your, your hope? Yes, that is my hope. That is my hope. And, and well, I was on Joy News, and, um, PM Express on Tuesday, this last Tuesday. And um, whilst going home, or the, the next day, I heard Honorable Minister for Lands and Natural Resources, Abu Jinapo, saying that we are going to come back again and, do, and that is what we, are, we, are, we thank God and we bless God for his life, that this will be done. And the, you see, we want Galamse miners, these Galamse operators, this legal miners on river body flushed out of our river bodies entirely. That's what we are ho ho hoping for. But as to and, how and, and that the, to be done... Under the current I'm, circumstance, I'm not, under the current circumstances, you are looking, we are looking to pay more for the water because you have to do a treatment that costs you almost four times what you would have done, right? Yes, please let me talk about uh, the current chemical we are using in treating River Pra. In fact, River Pla, Pra has been polluted to the extent that alum, aluminum sulfate, the full name, aluminum sulfate, mm -hmm. is no longer effective in treating water from River Pra. But we need to see the water anyway. So we've gone in for another chemical called polyelectrolyte. Polyelectrolyte or polymer for sure. And this polymer I'm talking about is four times more expensive than alum, as I've been told. Four times more expensive than alum. So it means that our treatment cost has now gone up. Well, if that is the case, Definitely our managing director and our top management, when they are going in for um, review of tariff, they will have to factor in this new chemical 
Because Ghana Water Company does not get any money from anywhere for our day-to-day -day operations apart from the tariff we are giving and the bills we send to customers. So definitely, it will have to be factored into the tariff so that we are able to gain something out of it. So we don't run at a lot to the extent that the company will grind to a halt because of lack of financial resources. So definitely, mm. all of us, I'm also a payer of water bills. I'm a consumer of water bills. Then I pay my water bill. I'm also going to pay. You are going to pay. All of us are going to pay because of the grace. Let me put it this way. Because of the grace of illegal miners. Mm. Because of the grace of illegal miners. It is quite a terrible thing that must not continue from today going. Thank you very much, Nanaya Berema.